Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 19. I'm Andy and this is Let's Play on the Bjergtop Farm. Good. Farm. Yeah, whatever. Um, so, been playing a bit and we're actually a bit forward now. We are on harvest season for canola. So I planted canola on all the fields and did all the stuff you need to do, weed and fertilize and everything. So everything is where it should be. If we look to this uh, fertilization and no weeds and that sort of stuff and um, oh it needs slim there um, and now we're harvesting so that's kind of cool uh, harvesting canola canola we're gonna sell which will bring us a bit of money so thir 1300 currently I don't know if that's the top I'm gonna hold off a little bit, see if it starts moving up and down, and, and then we're gonna sell off, sell it off. I think it it will actually move up. I think around fifteen hundred or something, or sixteen hundred, maybe even is where it usually tops off. So I'm gonna let do that. Um, in the meanwhile, we could actually. Start uh, spreading lime. Because we're going to do that. So, uh, if you can notice, I took off the front loader on this and I also changed the tires to my tires with weights. And the reason for that is I wanted to use it more as a <laughs> oh, utility tractor for, for this. Well, for f using it on the fields basically. So that's why. Uh, I have changed some things around on the farm and the reason for that was that the pack I used uh, I used a pack, um, if you remember, uh, with silos where you could buy buy seeds, uh, seed and we could buy seed and uh, what do you call it? It's lime and everything, lime and everything, and uh, that was cool, cool package. The only problem was that every time I went out of the game and saved, loaded here. Uh, first. Every time I went out of the game and saved, um, it started. I couldn't use it. It couldn't refill. It was like it was dropping a small, small, tiny, tiny, tiny animation of something falling down. But it never, nothing ever came into into the, the cedar or whatever I was using, which was sort of a problem. So I ended up looking looking for other stuff, other silos which could do that. So I found these. The link to these are in the description. There's like three separate files you can download. So I think the first one is seed fertilizer and the one on the corner there is lime. I'm just gonna actually I'm not gonna I was gonna um no I'm gonna sorry. <laughs> Keep making <laughs> I'm gonna just repair this and see make sure it's up to date and functioning. I don't think they need some sort of system where you can choose to repair. Just cleaning this out. Um, so basically, I've been just from your way, we're changing the, the silos and I'm gonna buy a, some sort of telehandler which I can use at uh, which I hopefully can use at the, the horse farm. Oh, 
Oh, I think so. Lagging, I don't know why they're lagging. It's probably because I'm doing a lot of stuff at the same time. And the hide work is working away, so maybe that's the problem. Let's see. open this. Hopefully this. I don't know if I get it under here. Maybe I need to swing around actually. Sorry. Like it was, it did like that. It was like a drop coming out. Now it's the problem here is that I don't have any money, so that's why it, it doesn't. Uh, it, it's not coming out. Start. So okay. So anyway, these these ones are the only loaded, and they actually think they use the same price as the stuff that you buy in store of pallets. So what I actually did, I edited the files slightly so they would not cost as the the stuff you put get out of it would cost a little less, I think, because you would pay less for bulk, I imagine, than the stuff. So. Go and empty this, by the way. I just realized I, I say basically a lot, don't I? I don't know. Anyone been trying out this map? I hope you've been trying out. This map. I think this is a really cool map. They're, they're coming out a lot of maps on not the mod hub but uh, other pages. Um, not Giants mod hub anyway. So there's a lot of stuff coming out and that's cool I think. Um, because that could be used for... Well, there's cool maps coming out anyway. Sutton Farm and all the other types of maps. So, so definitely start st things are starting to happen for FS19. Which I hope you uh, which I like at least. So let's unfold this and we'll go spreading light. And this, and then we're just gonna uh, seed direct over this. And it's not—I don't think it's the way you probably would do lime. You would probably cultivate it into the ground, or maybe even plow it into the ground in real life. But in our little pretend world, we'll make it easy for ourselves. has tips on my apps yet. I don't want, I'm not sure, if it's like Mac asking for tips on maps, but I'm not really sure I want them. Because I really enjoy playing this map. Uh, which is slightly awkward, because I usually want to switch between maps. The wire, I want to have a problem sticking with maps, but this one I'm really liking. So I'm, and it's a bit of a shame, I don't think people discovered this map. But you should definitely, I think you should use it. I mean, I think this is a really good map. There's some, some slight bug, bugs on it, but those are minor. And it's not a gigantic map. It doesn't have traffic, it doesn't have a BJ. And that might put some people off, but uh, I think it does have most of the things you would like on a map. So I, I would really recommend people playing this map, because it's a nice map. At least that's my f sentiments, and my feelings about it. 
course people get to decide themselves I'm not forcing people to play this map of course but um, it's a cool map And if you want to play, I mean, it's just a cool map. I'm, I'm not, not going to say anything else. It's a cool map. People should try it out. So the thing I usually do is I sort of do a headland around the map. You, you either it doesn't matter if I'm fertilizing or spreading lime. It's usually where I start out because then the hide worker could actually do this. So complete didn't wait and turn the wrong way. Um, hide then the hide worker could do this. So sort of, sort of like finalize the fields. Um, and, and when the hide work is done, the field is done, and you can move on. You don't need to clean up small areas everywhere, which could be a problem sometimes. If you don't, if you just let hide workers start out, they will miss a bit. So but even though the hide work is supposedly, and I think it is actually, better in FS19 than it was in FS17, still not. I mean, still has its problems. Which is understandable, of course. It, it can't do magic. Magic. The fields aren't gigantic, but they're big enough. They're, to me, they represent a pretty accurate feeling, at least, to how farming in Sweden is at least perceived by me. I'm not a farmer, so I can't really say for 100% sure that this is the way it is. But for me, that this map represents the way I view farming in Sweden. Well, okay, sized fields. Depends on where in Sweden you are, of course. Different parts of Sweden have different traditions, different fields. Um, but it's a, it's a cool map. That's basically what I'm saying. I think we're going to do this, and then we're going to refill our spreader, and then we're going to let a hired worker do, do the rest. It's probably time to clean up the other field with the uh, combine. So in there you can tell where the hide worker can't really figure out what to do with the fields. So sort of messes up things, or misses start the starting part of the H lane. It's funny. Actual silo up. Very few line. I don't know what a combine is doing. So we're backing up here. It's doing something weird. Um, let's fill this up and set it send it on its way and then we can do the rest with a combine 
it's not the fastest refill, but I'm guessing pretty realistic. Not realistic. I think it's still probably pretty fast for refill, but it's not like the extreme fast refills of some some stuff in this game where you go like, oh, no, nothing refills that fast. basically just tell it to go north here and we'll high worker so you can stop that high worker continue manually I, the only thing I don't like about this model is it gets dirty so fast and it looks weird when it gets that dirty I don't know if there's a way to change I think that's probably a way to change that in the XML file somewhere. So it won't get dirty that fast. Because it's slightly weird, right? Of course it combine would get dirty, but it gets really dirty everywhere. a bit there we need to clean up so There's a lot of area areas we need to clean things up which would go pretty fast I mean this is a really big header it's like a 12 meter header which would which makes this bearable I used to have that small if you remember um, from earlier episodes I used to have that small um, rustle mash Nova 330. That was a small header. But it worked. It wasn't a problem. It did work. Uh, combining and but I imagine you in all of these fields with that small header with that small combine that would be quite painful actually I think. Maybe I should have saved that one. But I needed the money, so that's why I didn't save it. It could have been cool to have that. Now I wish I had it because the pain having one combine and doing all of these fields. Uh, but hey, that's the way it is. That's the way it goes. I like this. I think harvesting the canola, I think canola fields are one of the most beautiful fields around when they're growing. Um, but I also think it's pretty beautiful when you run the combine through these fields. Especially when you start out in a new field. It looks very cool. from the inside. That's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool view. I'm not very good at driving combines from the inside though. I guess I could practice. I guess it's all about perspective. Where you sort of if you if you practice enough you'll understand where the edge of the header is and then it gets a lot easier. Still not the easiest thing. It's a bit of a task to do, I guess. 
Let's see. Get this going. Sorry about pauses. I'm concentrating. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't do two things at the same time. Actually, that's kind of interesting. Uh, it's not true. Some women, not some women, some people, all both men and women, claim that men have a bad, uh, have a worse capacity to do some stuff simultaneous. I've probably talked about this before, but it's actually not true. Men and women, if they're trained in the same way or have the same experience, are equally good at doing things at the same time. We're equally bad, actually, because we both sexes are really bad at it. We think we're good at it, but if you if you, you put in some sort of a stimuli that uh, disturbs things, that we're really bad at it. So, and if you do tasks that we don't, you're not used to, we're really bad at it. So we we're quite bad. We just think we're good. Can you hold my big so? Mm-hmm, okej okay, jag förstår. Um, jag ska hjälpa dig. Det kanske blir i tvätterna. That was my son. He needs help with his pants. Just sort of backing up through here. It would have crop discretion. This production turned off by the way. So we're getting quite a lot of canola. I mean we have if we're looking here we have fifty four thousand liters of two fields so far, so that's good. And another twenty maybe seventy five thousand liters of two fields, that's good, that's quite a lot of money. So we're good to sell that off when we can. last bit of this field and then we can move on to the next field and when we we do that we can uh, start spreading lime on this field so I, I'm not really sure we need to spread lime on this field this season this session but we, if we we'll do it this time we'll have everything up to the I don't know, maybe I shouldn't I'm I guess my lime should be spread when you need to spread it not when you when it's best to do everything at the same time Oh, I'll see. Maybe I'll skip this field because it doesn't need life. It's a bit of money to save, I guess. And we'll do it the next time. Or next time around, or whatever. How many seasons we need to do. I mean, if you look at this, if you sit in this cab, it's actually really, looks, looks really realistic. Harvesting. I mean, I mean, it's a game. It's perfectly apparent that this is a game. It's not a simulator, but it, it is a game. But you can certainly sort of get the feeling how it would be to do this in real in real life. I I haven't done this in real life, so can't really say. But um, I, def I mean, I definitely if you look at videos of people harvesting. Then this is the way it looks. So that's part that sense that sense of the way. No, that way it's realistic. Well, that's kinda cool. That's actually a very cool thing. Um so I'm gonna stop recording there. Uh, well, we'll pick it up probably on the next field or what I'll be doing. I wanted to buy a telehandler for the farm over there. I think I want to do that on the next field. 
Oh, I missed a bait. Oh well. Oh well. It happens. Um, so, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, so, I'm Andy. Uh, if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this episode, please hit the like button, leave a comment or share. And I will see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.